All right. Um, this is a Kimmel Elite. Uh, Kimmel Connect. And I was getting the UE era on this washer. And no matter how many times I try to um, put a different, adjust the load, you know, whatever, you know, small low, empty low, it didn't matter. I would get the lowercase U with the capital E. That means it was trying to rebalance itself on its own, own or either I was getting um, the capital U, capital E, and it would stop. You had to open the lid and adjust it, you know, yourself. So, basically, I popped the, I will pop it, you know, from, I'll show you guys, I will pop it under here to get the lid, um, you know, the top to come up. And as you can see, I taped it down, so tape doesn't, um, the lid doesn't pop back on me. And of course I would hit it on this side too. And um, I'll pop it up so you guys can get a general idea. One second. Like I said, you will pop it up. As you can see the two little pieces right there. And I've seen a few other little um, situations on YouTube. As you can see, the lid is up about um, the springs could be bad. You got one here, one here, one here, one here. And uh, basically, you can test your springs by kind of pushing down on it. But these are actually pretty strong. So, like, if you push down on it, like, the, with both hands, and it, and it just bounces up and down a lot, that means your springs are bad. It's time to change. But if you just press down and it gives us a little, you know, it bounces up and go down and just kind of just stays, you know, not a whole bunch of, bunch of moving around, you're pretty much good. So I thought it was the springs. I had some extra springs, so I swapped them out, see what happens. And same thing, same era, unbalanced era. Okay, so... I saw another guy on YouTube say take some um, PVC pipe and make the springs a little longer. Tried that, didn't work. And I seen another guy take a, a let me show you guys what that is. Uh, he took this, he had four of these and he kinda stuffed them, get moved it back. You know, you put it around the side, I'm doing this with one hand. You put it around the side and you put them, you know, around here in the back over here. It would make it real tight. And that didn't work. It actually made it worse for me because the washer would vibrate really hard when it tried to spin and it really would go out of balance. So, what I found out for me. I'm gonna close this lid back down. For me, what I found out is that under the bottom, and let me see if I can tip this over. Actually, I'm gonna tip this over and then I'm gonna get right so, back. Like I was saying, as for me, I was watching my basket spin and it was a little wobbly. So I figured, um, I don't know if the bearing was bad or, you know, if the sh shaft that it was on was bent or something or come to find out this bolt was loose so my basket was wobbling and it kept throwing it out of balance no matter what i did so i'm assuming from time of just you know spinning and agitating this screw from the factory probably worked this way loose so if you having this same issue tip it over tighten this screw up as I tighten this, I could I notice my basket like everything kind of, you know, kind of grabbed together. And once I done that, flipped it over, plugged it in, put it on drain and spin, and it went through it no problems. Put us I put a load in, same thing, no problems. So if you having an issue with an out of balance, you didn't change your springs, you didn't try other little tricks. I guarantee you, this boat is loose right here. 
tighten it up, get an adjustable wrench, and it actually goes this way to tight. So you might want to hold this a little bit and kind of, you know, get a nice little snug on it so you can get it real tight. All right, so this will work for mostly, uh, especially the um, LG and the Kim Wars, and I believe the Whirlpool have this same type of setup. So give it a try and let me know if it helps you out. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All right, appreciate that.